So new at six, a warning for parents. A two-year-old child is in intensive care. Police say his bed is to blame. The toddler was wedged between a bunk bed and a wall. It happened yesterday morning on Milwaukee's northwest side. Ricky Mitchell live at Children's Hospital tonight. She talked to the child's family about what happened. Ricky? Well, that two-year-old boy is still here at Children's Hospital, as you mentioned, in the ICU. His uncle tells us tonight that he is doing better after what the family says was a scary accident. My sister called the paramedics right away. D'Angelo Rainey says his two-year-old nephew was rushed to the hospital after his family found the toddler trapped between a bunk bed and a wall. I want to say it, it stopped some type of circulation through his um, head. Rainey says his nephew is in a coma but doing better. The child's mother was still at the hospital when we spoke to Rainey. She's holding up pretty well. Actually, I talked to her um, not that long ago. Um, she's real sad, though. I mean... Anybody would, you know, it's their baby. He said his nephew wasn't supposed to be on the top bunk when the accident happened. According to the organization Safe Kids, it's recommended that children under six years old stay off the top bunk, and older kids should only use the top bunk for sleeping. We need to make sure that the mattress is fitted to the bunk bed. So the bunk bed's going to have some standards on what size mattress to use. You want the correctly fitted mattress for safety reasons. In 1999, the Consumer Product Safety Commission came out with new mandatory bunk bed standards after almost 60 children died due to suffocation between the years 1990 and 1999. A study released in 2008 showed that on average more than 35,000 children and adolescents receive bunk bed related injuries each year with falls being the most common. I just hope the best for my little, my little nephew, you know, Kendall. And Safe Kids also recommends not using any type of bed to either place your child on for parents or caregivers if you plan to do something else because it can easily lead them to falling off. Reporting live at Children's Hospital, Ricky Mitchell, today's TMJ4. Okay, Ricky, thank you.